Hey, welcome back to more cake. Yes, more badass out of art. I'm your girl Delina, and today I am going to do a dinosaur cake for my son's fifth birthday. He turns five. <laughs> He's turning five. <sighs> Okay, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. We're just going to move on because I'll probably start crying. Um, so we're going to do a birthday cake for him and I am keeping it simple. Now, this isn't going to be like your typical tutorial where I'm going to explain to you every little thing that I'm doing. I'm actually just going to show you guys what I'm doing because it's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then maybe I'll make like little notations throughout it because I really wanted to dedicate this video strictly to my son and just kind of say some really nice things about him along the way because you guys know a lot about me and um you don't know a lot about i mean and, you, and you've seen a lot of me being mommy to my kids but not a whole lot of it so i thought maybe i'd share my son's story and then maybe you guys can um i don't know fall in love with him just like i fell in love with him now my son was born january 25th of 2015 he'll be five this year and his name is <laughs> His full name is Aramis Elijah Dantes Reipen Ruben. It's a very long name, um, but everybody just calls him Aramis, or sometimes a lot of people, a lot of my family calls him Mowgli um, because he definitely resembles the Jungle Book kid, um, and he's very much a wild child. So he came out, and he was just the cutest tiniest little thing like you know all babies are but this one was mine so it was especially special and I thought to myself wow I'm I'm a mom I'm having a I've had a baby um, he had to stay in the hospital a little more longer than me but I had to stay with him um, so we were in the hospital for maybe like a week total and he had an infection and then he also was jaundiced and so that was very difficult to have to deal with and then every day of his life for 30 for three months he had to get like three shots and that was nerve-wracking also in itself um so yeah there was there was a lot to it and when he, but once we kind of got over that hump and and once i got over my postpartum depression it was it opened itself up and i began to really see what being the luckiest person in the world could be what is is like you know rms is very 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 uh outgoing he's very strong physically and mentally you know um if he falls down he's not gonna cry if you hit him punch him in the face he's not gonna cry um you know he's just very strong in that way but he's also physically strong he doesn't know his own strength you know he doesn't know how strong he is so when he hugs he hugs hard you know when he plays he plays hard but he's he's loving like he is so like i sound like obviously like oh well, this is my kid but he's just very loving he's very loving he when i say wild child i mean the boy climbs on everything he wants he loves dinosaurs he's loved dinosaurs since he could see what dinosaurs was he is so obsessed with them for the five years of his life he's been obsessed with dinosaurs um, so he's gonna be super excited when we take him to what we're gonna be taking him to for his birthday uh, you guys are watching this after his birthday so yeah but um he every day for the last year he's asked me like mommy are you my friend and then like he'll say things like I love you mommy or you okay mommy like those just those little things that just make him such a special kid you know yeah and you know I said I'm not gonna cry and here I am crying it's just hard because like you you want to keep them tiny forever and that's not life you want to keep them tiny forever for selfish reasons, so I can just keep him, you know. But someday he's not—he's gonna grow up and be belong to himself, and then belong to somebody else, you know. So, yeah. But he's so rambunctious, and he's such a perfect little boy, and he's so sweet, and such a good big brother, and such a good son. You know, he's a good son. He's smart. You know, um, it doesn't—it's not easy for him to learn as quickly as other kids, but. Once he gets it, he gets it. And then to see that those wheels turning in his head, it's so fascinating. 
so he's really the perfect child for me and I'm he's made he's made me a mom he's made and he's made me even more luckier so I love him so much so one day Armis when you're watching this <laughs> when you're all grown up and you look back at all of the videos your mommy made I just want you to know I love you so much and I'm so proud of you and I wish you the happiest birthday. <laughs>